Hello, and welcome to Atlassian Demo Den. This is a monthly look into what has shipped in Jira Software Cloud. My name is Gareth, and I'm a product manager on the Jira Software team, uh, focused on building all things DevOps. Have you ever wondered whether something has shipped or not, or whether a piece of work has made it into staging so that it can be tested? With the new deployments view, we're aiming to help you answer those questions. In today's session, we're going to take a look at how Jira admins can integrate their deployment provider with Jira software and use the new deployments page to provide their team with visibility into what value has shipped and when. With this integration in place, developers can continue working in their tool of choice using their existing workflows, whilst at the same time share how their work is progressing through their deployment pipeline. With that said, let's go ahead and hop into a demo. Okay, so here we are on the board in Jira Software. You can see that I have issues on, on my board that the team is currently working on. Um, and I'm just going to take note of this issue ST24 as we'll use that later in the demo. For the purposes of this demo, we're using Bitbucket and Bitbucket Pipelines as our deployment provider. In order to use the deployments page with Bitbucket Pipelines, you'll first need to integrate Bitbucket with Jira. If you'd like to see a demo of how to connect Bitbucket and other providers, please check out the code in Jira video. Okay, so we have Bitbucket integrated already. So the first thing we're going to need to do is to set up Bitbucket pipelines. In order to do this, you'll need to create a YAML file. Um, this is one I've prepared earlier, as you can see on the, the screen. Uh, and don't worry if you're not sure how to create the YAML file, Bitbucket provides a bunch of templates to help you get started. The YAML file determines the steps that will run for my CICD pipeline. In this example, the YAML file is set up to run a build on each commit and automatically deploy it to our test environment. From there, I can manually promote the deployment to our other environments, such as staging and production. You can set up your pipeline to run the steps that suit the way your team works. This is just an example for today. Okay, so I have set up Bitbucket pipelines and from Bitbucket, we'll go and make a commit. So I'll add a new file. And click commit. And I'll include the issue key that we referenced earlier, so SD24. And Commit. So we've referenced that issue key um, that we saw earlier. Um, and now anytime I make a commit with an issue key in it, my pipeline will run and deploy our changes to our testing environments. So if we go to the pipeline section in Bitbucket, you'll see this pipeline executing. We've completed step one and on to step two, which is the deployment to our test environment. Bitbucket Pipelines looks at the commit history in a deployment to determine which issue to attach the deployment to. Okay, that is successfully completed. And so now we'll hop over back over to Jira Software and the deployments page. And here you can see the deployment um, of our ST24 issue um, to our test environment. So the new deployments view is visible to the entire team. So anyone can get an understanding of what is shipping and when. On the deployments view itself, you also have the ability to filter the information that is shown. For example, maybe you only want to see the items that have been deployed to staging or production. You can manage that right from the filter section here. In addition, you can configure the view to only show issues with deployments from certain environments via the deployment settings. Here, you have other options for configuring uh, the view, such as the deployment key and multiple deployments icon. 
You can also click on a deployment on the timeline to get more information, such as the pipeline that ran and which environments the issue was deployed to. If I click on this one as an example, you can see here that this issue has um, three deployments associated to it across test, staging and production. In addition, I can get information about um, this deployment, such as the um, pipeline that was run and the date that it was executed. So we saw how you can set up your deployments with Bitbucket pipelines and Jira software. And by how including issue keys in your commits, branches or pull requests, you can associate deployments with your issues to provide visibility of the value that the team is shipping. We're just getting started building out the new deployments page. We hope you like what we've done. And as always, leave a comment with your feedback and thoughts. Thank you for watching.